It is a summer of bees here in western New York. Good evening once again since we first reported on the exploding bee population earlier this week. It's been one of the hottest stories on WKBW.com on our app as well. And tonight it's yellow jacket stings that are really becoming a serious concern out there. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tells us tonight, emergency responders are now seeing a sudden surge in bee stings. They're like everywhere and my puppy got stung once and I got stung once too, so. Dora Sarkami is a Buffalo State College student from Hungary. She had no idea she was allergic to bee stings until recently stung by a yellow jacket wasp. And it was this big on Saturday. By Sunday, it was twice as big and then Monday it inflated more. Dora now makes sure she has an EpiPen close by whenever she goes outside. So every time when I get out of my car, I have to check for bees. Mild winter weather has allowed the yellow jacket population to explode this year. The insects are very aggressive and have resulted in AMR ambulance service responding to several calls recently. Um, last week at the Bills game, we actually had bees on both uh, team benches, so we had all of our team members on alert for that. For people who are allergic, yellow jacket stings can be life-threatening as it can cause anaphylaxis shock. And folks who are severely allergic could die in five to ten minutes, so time is of the essence in those cases. AMR crews carry supplies to counteract sting reactions, but people who have allergies need to make sure they are prepared. What happens if you don't know if you are allergic and you get stung? AMR said to watch for signs that you need immediate first aid help. Oftentimes you feel like you are swelling up and that's your body's reaction to the sting. Uh, you'll have some swelling in your tongue, sometimes an inability to swallow. You start to salivate. The lungs start to uh, swell up as well, so it's very difficult to take air in. Uh, and if that happens, you need to dial 911 and get help immediately. That's not something to take any chances with at all. Don't try to drive yourself to the hospital. Experts say the yellow jacket problem could still last for another couple weeks until the weather starts getting colder. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Also